those, he's putting himself in contention for some rookie of the year hardware if he can keep it up. Rounded down the third baseline. He's got it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. That is perfect. So striding in, Phil Goslin. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting That's soaking good. wet. I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Right. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. 0 oh 1, the count to Bryce Harper. And it's fouled away. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will wind up foul, still 0 oh 2. Hernandez. Commonly known as King Felix, of course. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Line shot to second, but it's caught, and the side is retired. So a sharp opening inning for King Felix. It's the Phillies nothing, Braves coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. So up steps Ozzy Albies. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. And the pitch. Pops this one up, and this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside that corner, exactly. it's going to be a tough that's pitch to hit. Stop. That one was spot Dan's on, three. and he had no answer for it. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, guys, you know what, as well as I do, being in the clubhouse before the game, this team's riding high. 4-0 to start the road trip. They're more concerned about what they're having for dinner than worried about the opposing pitcher right now. Freddie Freeman is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. A ball and a strike now to the Braves' first baseman. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corner. He is, d and this is Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Back now from Truist Park. Second inning coming up, but first, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, unfortunately, the rain that we're experiencing now is not expected to go away, and it's likely going to get worse. However, the umpiring crew has told me they believe the game will get in, although a delay sounds like a likely possibility. Yeah, Heidi, thanks. It's not looking pretty, and guys will just have to hope the weather doesn't play too much of a factor in the outcome of this one. I think it is, though, Matt. And you got to stay focused as a player. There could be a couple stops in this one. The tarp might get pulled. You just have to keep your focus, stay dry, and stay ready. Here's Hernandez now on 0 and 2. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. 
Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, Dealer, in a spot like that, that's an infield okay. single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. Runner at first to start the inning. And, Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry. And if you don't have a good feel in that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. Real Muto gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Check by Hernandez. The pitch. One ball, two strikes. Account. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Gregorius has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. And that one got a piece of him. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. From the stretch. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna's there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Batting seven, the left field, number 22, Andrew McCutcheon. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Freeman has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. Striding into the box, Adam Hazley. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Hazley, a six foot one inch left handed swinger and thrower. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Line towards center field, and that's in there. Base hit, the throw to the plate. The tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. Phillies leave a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. First pitch on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. And now pitch on the way. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. 
Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. McCutcheon is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now to show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Advantage count, 2-0 to the Brave center fielder. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders, but now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. At the plate, Adam Duvall. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. At the ball. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. And here's a slider for a cold strike. Runners off for second. In there. Now the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Third baseman. Victor Arano enters from the pen in just the second inning, so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. Austin Riley is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. And, and he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. And this is low, ball two, two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Hard hit ball to short. Throw to first is going to be in time, and the Braves rally comes up short as that's out number three. Two left for Atlanta. We'll move to the third with no score. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Victor Arano. Victor Arano. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Up next for Philadelphia. Digging in to try it again, Alec Bohm. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. This one's down to third. Reined in. Throw to first to be in time, and Hernandez looking good here with two away. Stepping into the box, Phil Goslin. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. Throw on to first, a three pitch and it. Bottom of the inning now, and set to stand in as the veteran pitcher, Felix Hernandez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, one pitch on its way. Fouled away. Arano is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Well, there it is. This one is going to be delayed as the crew chief has made the call to suspend action. You know, Matt, I just get the feeling this isn't going to be a very long delay. And we do have some clearing skies, so I think both of these guys possibly will go back out. 
You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. The next 0 2 is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck Number out, and we're seven. only in the second game of this series. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Down in order goes. And welcome back inside the ballpark as the weather has finally cleared up. Felix Hernandez makes his way back out onto the mound and we're ready to continue. Set to face him first, Bryce Harper. Acuna is there to put this one away and perhaps an over anxious Harper is set down on the first pitch he sees. So the base is empty here with one away and in steps the catcher JT Real Muto. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. On oh, a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0-1. Not an easy thing to do to fill up the strike zone and be successful doing it. How about this guy so far in this one? 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. A flip to Hernandez is in time to record the out. Up next for Philadelphia. Digging in for his second at bat, Didi Gregorius, who was plunked with a pitch in his first trip to the plate. Yeah, Maddie, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. Here's Hernandez now on 0 and 2. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Phillies down. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Hazley patrolling center makes the play one out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up big time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Popped him up. Real Muto waits on it. And that retires the side. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. And we are tied nothing nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point, and he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. He said that although he's not against swinging at the first pitch, today they're doing so way too often and at well-executed pitches. As a result, six of their at-bats have resulted in outs on just the first pitch. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. And the pitch. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Lifted down the line in left. On the move is Ozuna. 
And no one will track it down. The next 0-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't now even in the strike Westwood. zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Andrew McCutcheon is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. No balls in one strike. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. There's a swing and a high pop up. Swanson is right there. And he will make the catch, so that'll do it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Here's a shot to left field and deep. McCutcheon going back into the second deck and gone. A solo shot here to left. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As the Braves get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. So now to the plate, Adam Duvall. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. He'll come in with an average down to 230. 10 home runs and 31 RBIs. Center fielder on the run. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And there's one away now. Now batting. Settling in now, Austin Riley. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Zach Eflin, the right hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Zach Eflin. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. In there, one and one. Now here it comes. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. So we got him looking there. Austin Riley becomes out number two this inning. First delivery to him on the way. Hit back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. But the Braves are on the board first. Gene Segura will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number two. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this is foul for the first strike. He'll enter play here at an even 250. Six home runs and 11 RBIs. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. 
Now batter. So the Phillies the batting order turns over and Alec. set to go. Alec Bohm. No hits to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Not his best effort that time at strike one. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. Oh, it has him looking silly here. It's 0 and 2. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Now, that, that has to make that you feel be. really good as a pitcher, right? You're yeah. making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They still trail 1-0. Blake Parker enters to do the pitching in now the bottom of the sixth. Number 53. Blake. No balls and a strike to count. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. After it is McCutcheon. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So coming to the plate, Dansby Swanson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. In there at the knees, strike one. Down the third baseline. He's right there. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Standing in, Freddie Freeman. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Parker, playing here in his age 34 season, he was a 16th round selection during the first year player draft of 2006. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he. And that is through into right field for a single. Wow, I'm not sure how, but it looks like he didn't even touch this thing. Might have been thinking about throwing the ball before he actually caught it. The game moves fast, but you have to do one thing at a time. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike one to start the at-bat. Here comes the 0-1. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. So a two-run shot to left center. 12 home runs for him now thus far as the Braves have opened up a 3-0 lead. Stepping in now, Travis Garneau. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. The 0 1. In the air, down the line in left. McCutcheon on the move. Into the corner, he makes the catch to end the inning. But two in the inning for Atlanta, both coming on this. Seventh inning ready to roll. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. Out in front of it, strike one. 0 oh 1, the count to Bryce Harper. Oh, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0 oh 2. And so now the Braves will get both a left hander and a right hander up and throwing in the bullpen. And he struck him out. That's not an at bat he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with now at that, all. It's bad good. enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. Into the box now, JT Real Muto. 
He swings and grounds it to short. Swanson picks it up on to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. But hold on here now. They quickly requested some time to take a look at the replay, and they may decide to challenge that out call. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for that play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the Ladies horn with the replay operations the center in Manhattan and attempt to get the play. Here's Didi Gregorius. As Hernandez is going to jump ahead of him here with strike one. Hey, it's really hard to pitch a gem. And what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage, how about 100%? Can't get any better than that. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. On to first, it's a double play as their woes continue. The inning is over. Phillies go down quietly there. They trail in this one, three nothing. Acuna digs in now. Mano Imano with Blake Parker. He's two for three. He's taken him deep once. No balls in one strike. To third. He's got it. And there's one down now. The battle. The right so team. stepping in, Adam, Adam Duvall. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. No balls and a strike to count. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ball. And they swipe the tag on him, and the inning is over. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Eighth inning coming up. Atlanta leads it 3 to nothing. So striding forward now, Reese Hoskins. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Acuna is there. One pitch, one out. Now, back. now at the plate, Andrew McCutcheon. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Pops this one up. Albies over to his right, on to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Adam Hazley, two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen. If they're going and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail it here, three to nothing. Digging in now, Felix Hernandez. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants a pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies, as he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. taken now it's 0 and 2 three runs four hits and no errors so far for Atlanta there's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner but it bends just foul into the second deck hit hard down the line and he tries for the backhand reach at third but he gets by the glove down the line well you know what Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, d row And to be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know. Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. 
And the runner will score from second. And he's safe. Wow, they're hitting on all cylinders as the lead increases to five now. Nice job there to drive the ball into the gap and turn on the Jets for a triple. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. The 0-1. Drilled down the line. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. This is pulled into right. Harper's got it. Here comes the runner from third. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to sack. But they did. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Running hard. He's digging for second. And that is off the wall. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Wow, he's seeing the ball very well in this one. He already has a homer, and I thought he might have another one here. But it's going to hit high off the wall, and he's into third. They might think about pitching around this guy going forward. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run's in to score from third. It's 7-0. Stepping up now, Ronald Acuna. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Four runs here in this half inning. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Oh, and it falls as he can't make the play. Wow, his manager must have a lot of faith in him, and I'm not sure why. He's given up five hits in this inning alone, and it doesn't look like it's going to come to an end anytime soon. Adam Duvall is at the plate as he watches ball one. 2-0 to Adam Duvall. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. All even now, two and two. Seven runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. McCutcheon is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. We've played eight full. It's the Braves seven and the Phillies nothing. Scott Kingery is going to pinch hit here to lead off the ninth. And with his club already well down, he'll just need to try and get on base here. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And it's fouled away. softly hit here to the left side and this will be gobbled up fairly easily down there at third for the first down Alex now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Alec Bohm he went down on strikes last time up ready with the first pitch here it comes Hit in the air to shallow center. Albies onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Into the box now, Phil Goslin. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. That gets down, and the inning continues. So Bryce Harper will get a chance to hit here this inning following the base hit. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. No, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. 
Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. Freeman's got it, and he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. A 7 0 shutout final score tonight. The Braves get their 20th home win this year. Felix Hernandez earned his fifth win of the year.